Hi everyone, welcome to Papa's Workshop. This is Crazy Saturday, and I want to see if I can, on the X-Carve, carve a brick, scratch it, etch it, anything with nothing more than a regular masonry bit. Let's see what happens. To set this up to be able to try to carve this brick, I'm going to set up an easel as far as the material itself and I'm going to set it as aluminum. And that's really about the hardest uh, item that is in there. So that's what I'm going to choose. And that should give me a nice slow speed rate and we'll see what happens with that. The next thing I want to do is just do some basic text and I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to type the word in for Daniel. And I want that, well, actually, you know what? I think it'd be better to space the letters out a little bit. There we go. Now we've got the letter spaced out. And I definitely don't want to cut them this deep. So we're going to go ahead and cut this on this experiment about three hundredths of an inch, a so .03. So that's going to be a nice shallow cut. The other thing I want to do is set my XY axis for in the center. So to do that, we're just going to go up here to the shape, make sure that's in the center, and set this on my x-axis at zero and the y-axis at zero. And that is going to position it oops, right down here in this point. And that way on the table that's where my x-y-axis is going to be for the home position for the work. Alright, now then let's just go ahead and see if we can carve this and we'll see what happens. This is going to be an interesting experiment. I'm going to move the XY axis over to the center of the brick. And I have a little pencil mark there marking the dead center. Now due to the thickness of the brick, I can't actually use a Z probe because it would actually go up and hit the limits. So I'm having to set the Z axis manually using the paper. So I just move the bit down until the paper touches the bit and it makes it where it will not drag. And that will be my z-axis uh, zero point. Doing the first letter is always real exciting because you have no idea what to expect. But it is cutting and that's a good thing. With these extremely light passes, it actually looks more like it's scoring the brick than it is cutting it or carving. As the letter A begins to carve, you can see that it's just a very, very light score that it's just barely making a scratch on the brick. So after several passes, it's beginning to look like the letter A. As we move over to the letter N, I wanted to zoom in real close so you could see what it's actually doing. And all it's really doing at this point on this first pass is scratching the surface of the brick. And now the letter N is beginning to take shape and it's looking like the letter is supposed to look. You can also see the hard and soft places that are in the brick. And you can see how it carves completely different as it moves across the letter. On the letter I, you see where it's not perfectly straight and that's because of the hard place in the brick. Now I wanted to try something a little bit different. I actually grabbed the brick and raised it up a little bit so that it would be a little bit more of an aggressive cut. And it actually worked pretty well. So that is something I think I can do in the future is make my cuts more aggressive. As you look at the letter L being carved, you can actually see the bit moving a little bit left and right as it's 
overcomes the hard and soft places in the brick. <laughs> well, did it work? Actually, yes, it did work. Is it the best in the world? No, but it's the first experiment. I'm not going to use the masonry bit this next time. Next time I'm going to go ahead and get a ceramic bit and we're going to see what happens with that. But that's for another video. So again, if you like this video today, go ahead and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it so that you'll be notified on the various videos that I upload. So thanks for watching on Crazy Saturday today doing this fun experiment.